So this is the countdown to the closing date for my drone contest. As you can see, it ended 12 and a half hours ago. Now this contest was originally posted on December 15, 2017 as a challenge to the Flat Earth community to explain the equinox sun angles and the operation of equatorial mounts on a flat earth using a physical model. In three months, the entire flat earth community have not been able to produce that model. And on the equinox, I opened the contest to entries based on the globe. Now I'm happy to say I have seen at least six successful entries based on the globe that do answer every aspect of my challenge correctly. So there will be two prizes awarded, the first one being a Mavic Pro drone and the second prize being a P900 camera. To keep the contest objective, I will not be participating in the selection of the winners myself. And as a result, I will not be discussing the entries at this point so that there can be no bias. I will create a separate thread for each of the entries below this video and I would ask the audience if you could watch the videos and please leave a comment under the thread for the video that you believe should win. In seven days, I will tally up the votes and then we can discuss the individual videos and award the prizes. Now, I will say one thing, that each of the videos that I create a thread for is a valid entry to the competition. I wish to extend my thanks to the participants of this contest. You've all created excellent videos and these will be a valuable resource for truth seekers trying to understand the shape of the earth they live on. Remember the flat earth community were not able to explain the equinox sun angles or the equatorial mounts on a flat earth using a physical model. Each of the videos listed below have done that successfully using a globe model. So once again, thank you very much. This evening was the first clear night since arriving back in Australia. So I set up my telescope with a DSLR attached and pointed it in the direction of the Orion Nebula and was able to obtain several 30 second exposures, which I've put into a time lapse, which I'll play now. So this is just from my own telescope this evening looking at the Orion Nebula. <laughs> 